بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الاحباب from the beautiful wisdom of Al-Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala, one of the great imams of the Salaf, the Tabi'een. And may Allah have mercy upon all of them, and radiyallahu ta'ala'ani majma'een ala sahabat al-Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of the beautiful statements that he said, which is so profound, and so powerful, that if we implement it in our lives, we can only achieve success and we will not be let down. And it is that if you seek the hereafter, if you seek Jannah, the chances are that you will gain great benefit in this life as well as the hereafter. Listen to this profound statement of the Imam al-Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala. قال, O youth, seek the hereafter, for we often see people pursuing the hereafter and finding it as well as the dunya, meaning the worldly well-being and worldly life. But we have never seen anyone pursue the dunya and gain the hereafter as well as the dunya. Allahu Akbar. Look at this statement, meaning that if we pursue the hereafter, for one, you have the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're striving to, for his pleasure. You are doing those things which are uh, incumbent upon you, following the wajibat and leaving off the muharramat. That you are doing those things which uh, involve obedience to Allah, his commandments and leaning off the muharramat, those things he has prohibited. And that right there, ayyul ahbab, is taqwa. And Allah has stated all throughout the Qur'an that the people of, of taqwa, that they'll, they're the muflihun, that they'll be uh, the successful ones. So that means this person who has taqwa is striving to increase their iman, trying to gain the hereafter, will gain many abundant rewards for the hereafter. On top of that, they'll have a peace of mind and strong iman to deal with all of the problems that we deal with as human beings in this worldly life. However, as Imam Hassan stated, Rahmatullah he said, but we've never seen anyone pursue the dunya and gain the hereafter as well as the dunya. So meaning that the person who strives for this worldly life, it is no way possible that they're going to achieve the uh, the hereafter, meaning that if you strive for materialism, you strive to indulge in sinfulness, you strive to indulge in all the activities of this worldly life at the expense of your hereafter, that at best you're going to gain is some little satisfaction, temporary satisfaction in this life, but you will not achieve the hereafter. You will not gain both. But the one who keeps focus on the hereafter, this is the one who has the opportunity to gain benefit in this life as well as the hereafter. رَبَّنَا لَا تُزَدْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ دَدَيْتَنَا وَحَبْلَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَحَابِ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَا وَقِينَا ذَابَ النَّارِ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَمْ عَلَى نَبِيَّنَا مُحَمِّدْ وَعَلَى عَلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَّمْ